Hello. Hello, I'm trying to get Francis. This is she. Hey, Francis, how you doing? My name is uh, Daryl. Daryl. Our, our kids, they go to uh, together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your daughter's uh, Kaylin, right? Yes. Okay, my son is a uh, DJ, Daryl Jr. He, they, uh, I think I may have met you at the uh, beginning of the school year. You remember meeting me, Daryl? Daryl. Oh, I met a lot of people, but I'm sorry, I can't place you right now. Okay, all right, no problem. Hey, listen, um, I was getting your call. You know, there's only a, a handful of uh, black kids at the, the school, you know, being a private school and all. And uh, we, the the, uh, the black parents, we all got together and had a meeting a couple nights ago. Okay, you say all the black parents. Okay, I wasn't there. Why wasn't I called? Uh, well, we actually had a meeting about your daughter, Kaylin. Oh, well, what about Kaylin? Is she, is there a problem at school that she's creating or something I don't even know about? What's, what's going on with Well, actually, we're, we're, you know, we feel privileged to be, you know, you know, like I said, there's only a handful of blacks, and we try to carry ourselves in a dignified way, our, our presence, our attitude, the way we handle ourselves. And, uh, you know, Kaylin's doing very good in school, from what I understand, and very nice with all the rest of the kids. She's getting along. That's not the problem. What we're what we're trying to get is um, the grooming of Kaylin. You know, Kaylin has these braids, and what we were trying to do is is give. You know, we had a meeting hold about up, it. We hold wanted up, to hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you just say her grooming? Something's wrong with her grooming. Well, it's not necessarily her clothing. Of course, you know the kids wear the uniforms, but the the braids. You know, we we want to represent ourselves with a lot of dignity, the way we carry ourselves. We want to be, um, you know, pretty much nice and clean, spit and polished. We would really prefer if her hair was straight, and opposed to being braided up. You know, wait a minute. I mean, that kind of gives off a, a, a ghetto type of look to it, and that's what we're trying to to avoid. Are Are you crazy? Is something wrong with you? You don't have, First of all, how the hell you get my number? If you couldn't call me for the meeting, why are you calling me now? Well, like I said, ma'am, the meeting was to get the general consensus on where all the parents feel in the same way about your daughter and her braids. You know, we're just trying to keep everything classy at when it comes to the blacks that attend the school. There's only 10 of us, you know, 10 children attending. I tell you what you can attend. You can, What you can attend is to is this phone hanging up in your face. You tell the parents, all of them for me. Y'all can go straight and hit rock bottom out of hell talking about my child and her braids. Her braids are ethnic. They are nice. She is well-groomed. And I don't know how in the hell you got my telephone number. But tell all the parents for me to kiss the crack of my you-know-what. Listen, well, first of all, I don't like the way that you're talking to me. Okay, I carry myself with class, with dignity. I'm spitting polish, ma'am. Uh, I wanted to call and talk to, to you, call you like, the, like two adults, the subject of you know, the issue, and you're not acting, even calling me. You're, you're acting just as ghetto as her hairstyle. Let me say something real ghetto to your okay? You and all the parents can hit rock bottom out of hell. Don't call me no more with no like this. This is ignorant. I'm far beyond this. My child is well-groomed. She is going to go to that school. As a matter of fact, as much money as it costs to go there. Y'all should have been meeting on how we can get together and pay the tuition. How about that? Uh, are you trying to sit here and tell me that you got a problem taking her braids down and wearing her hair straight so she can look a lot more classy than what she looks right now? It's a pathetic look that she's having right now. You know what? I don't. What's your hair look like? Take a picture of your self and send it to me. Text it to me. Since you get folks' phone numbers and give it to you, take a picture of your self and text it to me. I bet you you look like who would have thought it. My daughter's braids are going to stay up for the rest of the year. As a matter of fact, we ain't going to rebraid it. It's going to stay that way so it can be matted and represent. That's what we're going to do. Francis, listen, I don't I don't want to argue. I just wanted to call and see if we could actually, you know, come to a medium on this. Do you think that there's a possibility that I mean, when I'm when I'm picking up DJ tomorrow after school. Would it would, would it be all right if I picked up um little Kaylin and brought her home and let my wife do her hair? Please. I wish the you would pick my daughter up and see what the hell I do. I'm going to call my husband and tell him to come over to your house and whoop your after he braids your hat. I wish you would pick up my daughter. I'll call the police on As a matter of fact, you're going to have to call the police on me and my husband. Do it and see what happens. Ma'am, I'm just trying to get some class here. That's all we're wanting. We're not wanting to fight with you. It's just the blacks here at we think that we want a little bit more classy look of the way we are groomed. That's the only thing we're looking for. Only person who's going to be taking the class is When we get to whoop, you're going to be taking the class. How about that? I can't stand a 
like you. Y'all get five dollars and one penny in your pocket and think you better than everybody else. You forget where you came from. As a matter of fact, what's your what's your name? Because I'm calling the principal on your a day. Give me your name and Mister Who. What's your uh, name? Uh, 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 that's 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 not that's not really what my name is. But that's what the told me when you first called me. What is your real name? My name is my name. My real name is Tommy. Thomas. No, no, my last name either. Well, what the hell is your name? Do you know? My name is Tommy, nephew Tommy, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband Keith got me to prank phone and call you. I be. <laughs> oh my God! He put your up to this. <laughs> you got me ready to click your <laughs> the PTS <laughs> the L <laughs> school and every. Right I tell you what, keep <laughs> eat out for the rest of the <laughs> week for putting this <laughs> <to> me. <laughs> he told me, he said, man, he said, it don't take but about two and a half minutes for my wife to go <laughs> off. He said, it don't take but two and a half. He said, and oh I promise God. you. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> you. You all right? <laughs> Oh baby, calm down, baby. Let me ask you something. What? What? Well, I got one more thing to ask you. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? You know, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show.